In today's show, we're gonna be showing you how we're using ChatGPT to eliminate negative reviews from your Amazon listing. Now, this is 100% compliant according to Amazon's terms of service. Now, if you didn't know, the buyer side has a compliance and a terms of service as well. And so when they buy something and they leave a review on a product, there's actually a terms of service that's attached to that. And if they don't comply by that terms of service, which is a bunch of rules just like we have as sellers, then we can actually get those reviews removed. And that's what we're gonna use ChatGPT for. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna prompt ChatGPT to act like a, pretty much an Amazon compliance officer following the buyer's terms of service when they're leaving a review. And then what we're gonna do is we're going to upload negative reviews to that ChatGPT when it's acting like that compliance officer. And then it's gonna tell us which reviews are the ones that don't comply with the buyer's terms of service when they're leaving a review. Once we have that, we're gonna open up a case with Amazon. And once we open up that case, they'll look at it and then they'll see that it doesn't comply and then they'll eliminate that review for us. So let me switch over to my screen and show you exactly how we're gonna do this. Now, before we get started, I wanna just explain that Jordan Wirtz, our COO of our agency actually came up with this strategy. Now he's not the only one that came up with it, but he's the one that kind of brought it to ideation in our agency. And we are gonna start doing this for our clients. And we went to a conference recently and Becca Hadley actually had a written SOP of this. So I'm gonna have that SOP down below, but I just wanna give a shout out to Becca Hadley and Josh Hadley. And Becca has a great TikTok following. Just look up Becca Hadley TikTok and you'll find her following. She's got over a hundred thousand. And then Josh Hadley has a podcast called Ecom Breakthrough. So make sure you go check out his podcast as well. And then if you want us to do this for you in our agency, there are people out there that are charging $500 per review removal with a minimum of 500 reviews to review. We don't have any minimums. We don't charge $500. If you're interested in us doing that for you, check out the link down below in the description and we can do that for you. Um, you just gotta fill out a quick application process and then it comes straight to me and then we review it and see if we can get you started. Now this is best for products that are in that 4.2 to 4.3 area. And if you're kind of teetering back and forth, you know that your conversion rate pretty much drops in half when you go from that four and a half looking stars to four stars. And so what we're trying to do is push that back up to the four, four and a half stars. So that's what we're looking to do. And I'm gonna show you exactly that here in the video. So let's jump in. All right, so here's the SOP that's gonna be down in the description that you guys can, can check out. It's gonna be in a blog post as well. And those acknowledgements that I gave earlier to Jordan and then Becca on TikTok and then Josh Hadley, Ecom Breakthrough, they helped us with this and they wrote this up for us. But let's just scroll down to step number one. We're gonna input Amazon review policy into chat GPT. So here's your prompt. And it's literally gonna be this whole thing. Cause what we did is there's a copy and paste of the buyer's terms of service when they're leaving a review. So we're gonna jump over here to chat GPT and we're going to put that into here and then just hit execute on it. Chat GPT is going to spit out some other things for it. And you can see, let's see where to go right down here. All right. So now that we have whatever chat GPT spit out, it pretty much just repeated what the terms of service is. I'm going to just say, please analyze the following reviews and let me know which ones violate the terms of service. And it will just kind of confirm that it's going to do that for you. All right, so now we're gonna go over to Amazon. And so this is a review that, or this is a, a product listing that is on that teetering review. So it's not quite 4.4 and a half stars. So it has this four star appearance, which can hurt your conversion rate quite a bit. And so if we just deleted a couple of these one star reviews, that could boost us up to that four and a half stars, which would make a big difference for this listing doubling its conversion rate. Hey, it's Dr. Travis Ziegler, and I wanted to thank you for watching this video. I just want to take a brief couple seconds to let you know about a free Amazon PPC masterclass that I have. Just head to ProfitablePineapple.com to sign up for that free Amazon PPC masterclass, or you can click the link down below in the description. I'll see you inside. And now we're on the product page. And what we want to do is have the Helium 10 Chrome extension right here. I'm going to click on that, and then I'm going to come down here to review insights. It's gonna pop up a page. And what I'm gonna do is look at all reviews and then I'm gonna select the ratings of three, two, and one stars only. Click apply filter. And it's gonna pull up quite a few reviews actually, unfortunately. But this could make a big difference in getting that because we're at 4.2 stars, we just need to get to 4.3. So we're gonna then click export reviews, which is gonna take it to a CSV file. I do not have Excel, so I'm gonna pull up Google Drive. And then I'm gonna go up here to file, import, and then browse, and then I'm gonna pull that in.
All right, so we have, I'm just gonna delete this. And there's a, a lot of important things here. So um, what I'm gonna do is delete this first line that helps with chat GPT, because it's gonna see 21 reviews. So what I'm gonna do is pull these up, copy them over. This is the description of the review. We're then gonna come over here, please analyze following reviews. Don't you love how we're also polite with chat GPT? All right, so it's gonna pull in those 21 reviews and it's gonna analyze them. All right, so now it's popped up the reviews that are in violation and it tells you why they're in violation. So I'm gonna focus on this one, review five. So when I go back to my spreadsheet, review five right here. Then what we're gonna do, let's go back to this, download the one star, copy and paste in to chat with GPT, and then case support. So you can actually email this email or you can do a case report. I'm gonna show you the case report version and that's gonna look like this. And so short description, product reviews, please describe your issue. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back here, we're gonna grab the ASIN, or we can even use this, it's gonna have everything in there. Title of review, burns, avoid, and then here's the body of the review. Oh, you don't need the body, so let's go back. Name of reviewer, Moody, huh, that's fitting. Date the review as it appears on our website. So let's go over here and I'm gonna click this right here. There's September 12th, 2020. Direct link to the review, come over here and then required action. The chat GPT tells you what to do. This review violates the policy by focusing on the customer's frustration with the company, product ineffectiveness and burning. So we're gonna just put that in there. And finally, what we're gonna do is put a picture of the review. Cause when you get a picture in it, it doesn't get an automated response. And let me just do that real quick. So I'm gonna pull up just a screen sharing, save that. And then we're gonna scroll down here, then we're gonna add an attachment. And then you're gonna click send and that's it. So let me know how this works for you. Let me know if you use this technique and it actually worked. Let me know that down in the comments down below. Also down below, you can get this full SOP, the written SOP that I actually showed you in the video, and it will show you step-by-step -step how to do this. Super simple. It's four steps. Have a VA do this. This is not your job to do this. Figure out who can do it for you. Don't figure out the how and the what. I'm showing you the how and the what here on what you need to be doing, removing negative reviews. I showed you how to do it with this video. Give this to somebody else, not you. You're the CEO and founder of your brand. You don't need to be doing this. You don't need to be in the weeds doing this thing. Give this to a VA, a VA in your business already. You can give this to a Filipino VA and pay them $500 a month to do this, or even pay them on commission. Pay them $10 per review that they get removed. That would be a huge time saver for you. And it would make a big difference in your brand. Think about if you, instead of had that four star look, you got it up to four and a half stars. Or think about if you had 10,000 reviews that were four and a half stars or 4.5 stars, you could get that up to around 4.8 stars. Think about what that can do for your conversion rate. So get to this, but don't do it yourself. Find out who to do it for you. And then if you want our help, look down in the description below and we'll, we'd be happy to help you out. I'm Dr. Travis Ziegler, CEO of Profitable Pineapple Ads. If you want us to do this for you, check it out down in the description below. Hey, make sure you check out this next video. If you enjoyed this content, you're gonna love this next video that I handpicked for you. And what else do they need to do? Like this video and make sure you subscribe to our channel if you enjoyed this content.